everybody, I think Drupal is back. Today's topic is Drupal 8 migration. Actually, it's third part. Uh, today we will create custom plugin for migration for manipulation field values. If you haven't seen previous two parts, please watch them before. Um, so let's go. In previous video, we have used default plugin, which is called static map that comes from migration module. Uh, today we will try to create our own plugin for some specific use case. We still have Drupal 7 and Drupal 8 installed on our local machine. Uh, you can also watch that in previous videos. Um, so let's create a custom plugin for such a use case. If title of node will be async Drupal, we will set value to events fields, uh, field now all clear. Uh, before creating this video, we have prepared everything to save your time. Uh, so the first step is uh, we should create a custom module. For basic structure of custom module, we need an info file, please. This is an info file of our custom module. Um, as you can see, our module's name is Migrate Custom Plugin. And now we need to create a plugin itself. So the file of uh, plugin class should be stored in uh, src plugin migrate process. Uh, we've also recreated this file and named it custom plugin, this one. Okay, uh, for more detailed information of how the class plugin should look like, uh, you can check already existing plugin in module migrate in Drupal core by the same path src plugin migrate process. And again, I'll repeat, check if any of already existing plugins can cover your case before creating a custom one. As you can see, we have already created a very simple one. So uh, you see this is the first if that I mentioned on the beginning of this video. Like if the title is a thing Drupal, uh, then set a specific value. Also in this place, we have ID of our custom plugin. In our case, it's a thing Drupal custom plugin, which we should use in, f uh, in config for migration. So let's open the config of migration from previous video and let's replace a default uh, iteration plugin with ours. So let's replace and um, delete unnecessary parts. Okay. Uh, now all data which will be saved to field uh, events will go through our plugin. Um, also, we've added enabling of our new module in core extension config. Uh, in this case, our module will be enabled on Drush config import. So now we go to console and run um, Drush config import. Okay. Good, it's finished. Let's create a node with title async Drupal on Drupal 7 side. As you remember from previous video, field news is saved to field events on Drupal 8. It means that this field will be replaced in our custom plugin. And let's save. Yay. Now let's go to console and run migration import. Drush migrate import. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we can see that uh, one node was created. Now let's go to Drupal 8 and uh, check what nodes do we have now. Yay, we have now a new node async Drupal. Let's check the event field. And this field has value from our custom plugin, good. Let's return to code and check this logic once again. Um, if title equals uh, async Drupal set value, uh, you can see we can get value from all fields which are described in uh, our migration config file. So it's pretty cool, a rather powerful thing. Also, you can see we've added a couple more examples here for our use uh, for other use cases. And uh, we will attach a link uh, to an archive with this module in description to our video. So you can download and check it. It seems it's all for today. Uh, we showed a rather simple case. If this video is useful for you, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're looking forward to your comments and thumbs up. Stay chilled.